So today we're just going to be fitting this magnetic door stop to this door and um, skirting board. Um, so we've removed an old floor door stop that was already there and in its place we're going to use a magnetic one. So we thought this video would be very useful just to show you how to fit one of these products. So I just removed it from the packaging and as you can see the door stop is supplied exactly like this. There is the door section um, which is magnetically held in place against the part which fix, fixes against the skirting board. So it's a very strong magnet, seven and a half kilo pull. Um, it's protected with a little nylon uh, washer just to stop it scratching in the box. So you should then end up with two parts exactly like this. So this door, magnetic door holder that we've chosen today is a telescopic model, which means we can adjust this second section to be longer or shorter, depending on the distance that you have from the skirting board to the door. Obviously, things like the door handle design on the door that you're fitting this to, is it's important to make sure that that door handle, if it's deeper, doesn't hit the wall. Hence, we can extend this telescopic magnetic door stop and suddenly we've got a lot longer reach to the door. For now, I'm just gonna leave it in that position because uh, for the installation, that will be absolutely fine. The first thing I need to do is remove this brass base from the magnetic door stop because inside here is the fixing point for this product. To do that, push on the brass point and rotate it, rotate the bracket, and it will just unwind from the magnetic door stop. So now you'll find you have that piece there, which is your mounting piece, your mounting bracket, and you now have a door stop with a spring inside. The next thing to consider is the location of the magnetic door stop on the skirting board or on the bulkhead. The further away from the hinge point of the door, the stronger the magnetic hold will be and the more effective the door stop will be at holding the door. So for the purposes of this installation, I've marked where the door finishes with a piece of masking tape on the skirting board. So now we've marked where the door finishes, I know that I want to try and fit my magnetic door stop near the end of the door to ensure that it's effective. I've also got a strange wall shape back near the hinge point, so I want to make sure that the door is held nicely hard against the wall. So I'm going to install this bracket somewhere around here. The exact location for me today isn't that important, however if you want to measure and be very very precise then you can do so. I'm going to just put a piece of masking tape here so that I can clearly mark where I need to drill my pilot hole. I'm then going to position the brass bracket where I want it to be and I'm going to mark the whole centre. Let's say. The next thing I need to do is drill a small pilot hole for the fixing of the bracket. So for this, I'm just using a standard battery drill. I'm gonna use a two and a half mil bit, and I'm just gonna make a small pilot hole where I've marked for the installation. Now I'm gonna remove the masking tape that I've used to mark the installation point so that I don't have that trapped between the brass bracket and the, the skirting board of course. Fix the brass bracket in place using a wood screw into the skirting board. So now I'm going to actually put the telescopic section onto back onto its brass bracket which is now securely fixed to the wall. To do so I just press the spring, compress it and rotate it clockwise onto the brass bracket. Once you've got a good hold on there you just rotate that, nip it up, finger tight is sufficient. And that brass, that magnetic door stop now is, is, is securely held in position 
and you can see the rotational feature of the magnetic door stop there, um, which allows for the door angle, um, which we'll see now when we fit the corresponding part onto the door. The next step is just to take the corresponding magnetic part that's going to go on the door and just carefully position that on the end of the magnetic door stop. On the door, I have now put some masking tape at the point in the area, sorry, where the corresponding part needs to fix. It's not that precise, but obviously masking tape will come off without leaving a trace. And that will allow me to draw accurately or mark the location of the corresponding part. So now I have marked the location of the corresponding magnetic part uh, using the circumference of this part. Um, and then I have also marked the two drill points where I'm going to also again make a pilot hole to easily fix this on with two wood screws. Okay, so to fix the corresponding part onto the door, I've had to downsize the drill bit to a 2 mil drill bit because the screws needed for the corresponding part are smaller than the main part on the skirting board. So I'm just going to simply drill the two locations that I already pre-marked. Remove the masking tape now, you no longer need this. And now fix the corresponding part in place, just gently. Okay, so that's it. The product is now fitted and the door kisses against the magnetic holder on the wall and is held in place perfectly. And there's a nice bit of resistance on the door because we've done it the right point away from the hinges um, to make sure that it holds nicely. Uh, and the product is, is now installed and ready for use. And this piece of wood here, it's been around for about 40 years, is not needed anymore. <laughs>